Yo, 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 guys. Welcome back to the Back Nine coverage of the 2024 Riverwalk Rumble in Portola, California. This is coming to you from Premium Disc Golf in South Lake Tahoe. My name is Spanky Edwards. I'm here with my boy, Dan Double N Turner and Zach McFarling fishing in the river. Yeah, there he is. He almost missed his <laughs> tea time, I think, uh, before this round standing in the river. But uh, he made it. He was on my card. Yeah, so rolling in the back nine, Dan, what are we seeing? You know, is there any differences from the front to the back? Yeah, uh, the back nine's got a couple par fours mixed in, a little bit longer holes. Uh, and also, like, every time I've played this course, except this weekend, which was sweet, there was a lot of wind coming. Um, so, like, you know, every time I played it, like, the front nine was, like, with a tailwind, and then the back nine, you're just, like, into this gnarly headwind. Um, we got pretty good pretty good weather all weekend though as far as wind goes got a little bit hot today not too bad though that's good yeah you think it just maybe like a uh, little opens up maybe a couple less trees and that wind's gonna be able to come off the river a little easier into your face definitely um, yeah excited to see these guys maybe like there's this is a par four hole that gavin's throwing uh just excited to see the guys you know open it up throw some bigger shots here's our leaderboard after the front nine we got Will up top with a three-stroke lead, followed by Quinn. Alex is five back of Will. Guy has slipped down to eight back. Um, he's still got a lot to battle for, though, with caches and stuff. He might be uh, out of the running for winning it, though. Pretty sick. Pretty a lot of guys sitting down there at the 19 under mark, too. So they're they're maybe out of the of the winning perspective, but definitely not far off from a, you know a caching this weekend. Right. All right, here's hole 10, uh, 292. You see that red uh, arrow on the tree is a mandatory. Even if you make the mando and go left, the bike path here is out of bounds. Um, kind of a tight gap, finishes straight left. So Will was just well, way too turned over, huh? Yeah, he cooked it up on the hillside there. Um, guy was a little bit short on the inside, probably contending the OB line, but doesn't look like he found it. This looks pretty good from Quinn. Also, maybe it's a little early. You almost want to push it back to those trees right there and then just let it dump over. Gotcha. Yeah. I was like flexing my crock pretty hard and like out of the hand, you know, you throw that thing out a little Anheuser and you're like, but then it just hooked up perfectly every time. Yeah. This looks good from Gavin. Like you said, just barely almost hitting those trees and then moving left. Yeah, definitely. He's going to like that one. Ball. Phalange here, lining up. Uh, some sort of putter or mid, maybe a pyro. That was a little short, but stayed safe. Oh, here's Will up on the hill. So he got pin high. Okay, tough, uh, tough look. Yeah, just kind of buried himself in those little pines. Mm -hmm. Had to go over the top. Quinn from inside the circle. Wow, what a putt. Yeah, I guess all these drives that I was claiming to hate are all in the circle. Surprise, surprise. It is so hard to get perspective when you can't see the basket from the tee. You think, yeah. you know, it looks like a good shot, but you just don't know until you get up here. Nice straddle putt there from Guy. Kalanji taking his time here, trying to get the birdie. Nice putt, Great Alec. Putt. Right in the center. Gavin, Gavin with, yeah, the, the best looking drive of the bunch, right? Yeah, he definitely ran it right past the basket and he fires it in there with authority, no problem. You will capitalize. Looks like Will's dropping one to all the boys here. That brings Quinn within two, Kalanji within four. Oh, hello, Luke Tutolman sighting. What a putt. Birdie putt. Gallery loves it. Nice job, Luke. All right, hole number 11 is our first par four, 545. Some of the bigger arms might try to go over the top and maybe get it there. This is not getting there. But we mainly on this hole, you don't want to cut up early yeah, on the left. Stroke me. <laughs> get a little resin going on out there. The resin me, what the heck? <laughs> All right, Quinn's got the power. Let's see if he can go for it. It's kind of like a hyzer flip shot, but it's got to be pretty high. You know, you could probably get it to circle two, maybe, I'm thinking. Needs to keep climbing. Oh. Yeah. 
So from there, he's probably like 250, 260. He'll have some sort of play, like for the birdie. It won't be, he's not too buried. If that shot was just a little higher over the tree, he he was going to love it. Yeah, I mean, he's not he's not parking it, but he would have had, you know, something to at least try and attack the basket for the two. For sure. Gavin, this one's pretty high, but he's, uh, you know, if you if you're, know you're going to throw it over those trees, like, and it hides his back, then, like, it's almost a pretty safe shot. I threw a fairway driver just like my best disc and just tried to hit the middle gap and just, you know, give myself an easy look for to make the three on this hole. I was never really pressing for a two. Just thinking three is great. Kalanji loves that. He can't believe yeah. that he cut back to know the fairway. Do you think maybe he's feeling like he got away with one there? For sure. Pulling that a little wide. But he's going to be in that pathway looking right down the fairway. Will in unfamiliar territory here, back of the box. Let's see if he can show these guys how to do it, though. said that was that high hyzer flip up yeah he's just i mean those guys throw that through that shot quite well but they're just trying to take all the trees out of the equation and still playing for a three that's not that wasn't attacking the basket quinn's was a little bit lower so he's you know he's going for it but here he is from 250 yeah quinn actually kicked out of that tight cluster of trees better than i thought i thought that he had fallen kind of right down into them so yeah very fortunate to be in a position to throw that nice up shot yeah i saw the same Kalanji hangs this one out a little bit wide right. He's probably wishes he's a little tighter, maybe circles the edge to 40 feet. Will throwing a pyro on lefty forehand. He was trying to see that finish, but I think he's just inside the circle probably. He's Gavin from 200. A little hyzer in. Ooh. See where that one end up in a minute. Yeah, hard to tell. Here's Guy. He's kind of right where these guys were, just pinched up to the left. Let's see if he can scramble his way to a birdie. This looks pretty solid. Nice overstable disc. Yeah, that one, you looked like he got all the way there. Oh, here's Kalanji. Okay, so he's only 27 feet. Nice putt. Kind of looking like a star frame for these guys, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't bet against any of them from this close. Well, taking the time. Oh, no. Commentator's curse. Sorry, Will. What the heck, Spank? <laughs> yeah, Quinn tosses up here to all of nine or 12 feet. This is to bring it within one. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. We got a battle, folks. Yeah, this is very close. Guy from 20. Nice pot. Some birdie. And we're off now, hole 12. Uh, we're going right back to another par four. This is probably the most fun hole out on the course. I don't know. Uh, this tree kind of hangs over off the tee, but not too much. It's a dog leg to the right, and then after 600 feet, the basket is 35, 40 feet up into the tree line on the left. So the best shot is like a big right-hand, backhand turnover. I think Quinn's going to try and show us the line. Let's see if this thing turns. That's turning nicely. We probably won't see it on this side. Yeah, he's but, walking out to try to get an eye on it. Yeah, that was shaping the fairway nicely. Obviously, you've got that mando on that right tree, so you are forced to go down the middle instead of just a big hyzer out to the right. Yeah, otherwise you'd be playing right into the 11th fairway. Yeah. All these guys throwing the big turnover, just trying to bite off as much fairway as possible. Alex, Alex is probably looking for a little more turn there. Yeah, he ended up in an okay spot, but if you push it too far straight, then you kind of get pinched up on the hillside, and you got to play like away from the trees and then back into them. Um, guy with a forehand and uh, Will with the lefty backhand, they're not trying to get quite as much distance off the tee, more placement. 
Um, as to where the other guys are, you know, their shots the potential of going another 100 or 200 feet farther. Oh. Guys kind of pinched off here early in the fairway, but he should have not too tough of an up and down there to uh, get his four. Wow, there's definitely a specific landing zone, huh? These, both of them are, were, you know, will obviously very tough off. lie. Yeah, very tough lie in there. Definitely. That is going to be probably well short of circle two. Here's Quinn. He cooked his over to the other side of the fairway. And he's coming back at it with a flick. Got up there into circle two for the birdie look. Falange's kind of threading this left side, but he's not too far in. So he's almost playing a pure hyzer from here. I think that was pretty dang good. See here, and you can see what I was talking about. The left side's a little pinched off. Oh, yeah. Gavin plays a big hyzer out and over instead of trying to go through the landmines up the middle of the trees. Here's Guy's third. Ooh, he, right. Oh, well, not that he was going in. Hard, yeah. Is, oh, you don't think I'm playing this for birding? <laughs> Quinn's third up into circle one. Will from about 80 feet. Do you have any idea where this one was playing as far as, you know, part of? Oh, that's a good Ready. question. I mean, did you know what? Do you remember how you played on this one? I think I got a four on it every round. Okay. Er, no. It seems you know what? Yeah. Go ahead. That just seems like a like a definitely a two shot hole, and the the first shot's super important. Mm -hmm. You have to land in a very very specific landing zone to be able to approach. Yeah, it actually comes out of, as a surprise to me out of, uh, I think there was 20 people in MPO, only two people got the three on this hole. Okay, so definitely playing uh, final round. Probably a lot of fours and definitely a couple, you know, a couple over par, but playing like a true par four. Yeah, it was averaging 3.94, so right about par. I'm I'm surprised there wasn't more birdies, but you know the the drive is key. I think on this hole. Yeah, that landing zone is very specific. Now hole 13, you're playing back up the hill here. It's kind of tight off the box. That's Highway 70 that runs through Portola up there in the background. It is out of bounds if you get there, but uh, where guys dis landed, it's almost like like a half a bowl. You can you know you can almost ace run it and fire it in there and expect to be you know right on the dance floor. Yeah, there's a really tall bank behind it. Quinn might have just thrown a Zephyr. Just got it a little nose up. He likes throwing the Zephyr. It's like a catch disc, but I've seen him uh, do some sweet things with it. I have too. Here goes Gavin. Looks like maybe an Envy or something of that nature. It's going to hit a little early. Yeah, it just catches up on the inside. He doesn't like it. He pulled a little wide. Yeah, I think it got up there close to the circle, though. Yeah. I mean, at 211, as long as you get through whatever you hit, you're still yeah. going to put yourself in the I was like, deep. wait, nobody's parked it yet? I guess Guy was pretty close, but, you know, Alex, Quinn, and Will are all pretty close. Now, I haven't seen this shot before. The left side of the green does slope down. It's not terrible, but it, if you kick wrong, it could roll. Oh, wow. Cool. Good bid from edge of C2. Yeah, I wanted that one for him. Oops. Alex. <laughs> oh, Alex. That was every bit of 52 feet. Absolutely. Nice birdie. This Quinn looks like he's kind of stepping this one from hole 14's T, so just outside the circle. Oh, I thought that was just hole 14 from there to there. <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> Will from right around Circle's Edge to keep pace with Alex. Just a bit low. So Alex is going to get one on Quinn and Will. And uh, he's two off the lead, one off the second. Wow, what a tight race at the top. Yeah, pretty exciting. All of a sudden, there's three within one of each other, huh? Yeah.
He just loves that forehand stab putt when he's close. Yeah, it's like a... It's his no, signature move. I don't want to try and guess what that shot's called, but he likes doing it. A scooper? I don't even know. All right, hole 14, 186, one of the short holes. Guy's going to... Looks like he's reaching out the right side for some type of flex shot. Uh, the main gap is what you see here with that trailer going through. Yeah, going right over the, the red tee pad. He liked it. I think he got up towards the edge of the circle. And, like, this hole, you just, you know, you pick your gap. And this, this isn't really a problem. You just got to hit your gap. Alex plays it as designed. It looked, like, pretty good. Here's Quinn again with his Zephyr. This is another one of those where the, kind of looks like the camera angle is looking right down the fairway but yeah. from the center of the tee pad it's actually a little bit of a tighter line it's, it's it definitely makes the gap look more a little bit more generous than it is gavin with a great backhand shot and here's will flicking one he likes a little bit of flex shot up the middle here mm -hmm. takes a kick down oh phil oh quite a ways away Definitely got a few more trees to navigate than the rest of the guys. But he looks like he puts it up there pretty close. Here's Quinn for birdie from about 50. Now, if he airballs this, he could shoot down the hill to the left. Oh, so he, yeah, he's happy to draw some metal there. Oh, no, that was a great effort, especially just one back of Will. That would have tied him up. He wanted it. Yeah, standing here now, you can see that steep. Um, embankment off just the left of the basket there. Right. Guy and Alex, pretty close birdie look here. Nice. Oh, Alex. Alex to pull within one of Will, and he's tied with Quinn. Highway 70 doesn't care that you're putting. It's going <laughs> to keep on rolling. <laughs> keep it down. Nice birdie for Gavin. Leaves Quinn here to clean up his par. I think that's Guy's caddy there, you see. I'm not sure his name. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. That was hole 14. Moving on to 15. Probably one of the signature holes out here. Is that right? Definitely. Yeah, we have par 3, 408, but way downhill. We're going right to left. It looks like an island green, but it's not actually an island. Yeah, there's uh, that blue rope across the top is a mandatory you got to throw under that. Oh, that's right. Kind of like a triple mando. Just kind of keep them honest, keep them low. Yeah, this is a really fun shot. Yeah, Dan, what are you throwing here? Um, Depending on the wind, I'm throwing one of my destroyers just to make sure I get the distance. Okay, are you trying to push all the way to that line of trees or like kind of... Like, yeah, you know, so if you... On the right side of the green, there's a, a wall of trees, but there's a pretty good gap. So we're kind of where Gavin's this is going here is, I think, the preferred shot for a lot of players. Oh, yeah, that looks fantastic. Yeah, yeah you, there's a gap there that you can uh, expect to hit if your disc is fading back at the right time. Hey, guys, drop us a comment. Let us know what you throw here. We would love to know. Went a little bit low. But if he's pin high, he'll be within circle two. Yeah, this is a fun one to hear, you know, hear the buddies after the round talk about what they threw and how close they got. And... Right. I think uh, Luke Tutalman, he banged one into the rocks here from the tee with a backhand shot. And I was playing with Nate Tutalman round two, and he made one from just short of the rocks. And then I caged mine. I'm like, thanks for the big putt, Nate. But <laughs> it's fine. I caged other ones, too. It wasn't you, bud. Quinn, does he got all the way in there, even though it kind of didn't look great off the tee. Alex sailing that one long. Yeah, just a little heavy. This is a big putt for Will with three to play after this, if he can get a two, to have two strokes on these guys. Ooh. Wow, great putt. Nice, that was clutch down the stretch. He, 
He doesn't always show a lot of emotion, but the fist pump, he knows how important that was. Um, I can't speak for all these guys on how much scoreboard checking they're doing, but you'd expect down the stretch you you'd want to look if you knew you're on you know on the lead card within range. Absolutely. I don't do a lot of scoreboard checking. I just know I need more birdies. You know, I always need more birdies. Yeah, yeah checking in for me doesn't usually work. I just got to play my game. Okay, so like I said, we're going to have three holes to play here. Will's got a two-shot lead over Alex and Quinn. Yeah, even though Guy is, you know, five back of the lead, great shooting, not far off the lead, you know. Well, not long ago, I think he was eight eight back. So yeah, so definitely playing phenomenal golf for sure. Definitely shooting good here on the back compared to the boys. Here's our premium disc golf store and studio. Come check it out if you haven't yet, guys. Also, we have discs available online. Oh, Hole 16. That's Oh. Yeah, that one's definitely not going to be in your highlight reel, Gavin. Sorry, Buzz. Hate to see this go backwards. Will going lefty forehand. I don't know what that disc is. It is stable, though. Unless you get caught up. You can't see the basket, but it just finishes just to the left. I flick a zone, just kind of hang it out there like that. That one might have been a little bit further left than he, than he wants, but he'll have a putt. Yeah, 207, it looks like the, yeah, these guys are just trying to throw as overstable of a mid as they can, or that putter. Looks, that looks like our best shot so far by Alex. There is like a little bit of a gully or ditch that kind of runs down behind it. Uh, it's not too, too far, but if you're putting from above it, you know, and you could air ball to 30 feet, uh, that, that, you know, it comes into play more there. Oh, a little early for Quinn. Yeah, these are important holes too, especially for the guys near the top. Okay. Gavin showing a little frustration here, clearly. That's a good way to yeah. go, but yet hopefully he can just get off the hole with a bogey and think yeah. about the next hole. Absolutely. Quinn kicked up here pretty far for hitting early. Let's see if he can connect. I played first round with Quinn on this hole, and he made a putt that went farther than his drive. I swear to God. Oh my goodness! I swear it went like he went like eighty feet off the tee, and then he just stand still putted it, and it just kept going and went all the way in. Here's Will to get another stroke on Quinn. Big putt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, he knows how important that is coming yeah. up the pitch. Yeah. You know, he started off this round or throughout it, he was a little bit uncharacteristic in the green, but he's definitely making them now that it, when it counts. Alex did just to keep pace. Awkward footing there with that really high front, you know, front foot, almost a, almost two feet above his back foot, you know. Yeah. From a competitive standpoint and a spectator standpoint, you want to see him make that, but now... With two holes to play, Will's going to have a three-stroke lead. It's surpri surprisingly steep right behind that basket there. Where right. Can absolutely, even from a 15-foot putt, really affect the release of it. Yeah. <laughs> when... Not stoked. He knows he's down by three now. Just two to play. Guy right, not too happy with his birdie putt there. We'll head over to number 17. 244. It's, uh, you almost got to play a left or right shot. The green's pretty guarded from the right. This is pretty high. Let's see where it filters down to. There's a bank on the left side of the green, so you could hit within 15 feet, and then you could roll back down the hill to the left. Um, there's OB just into the tree line on the right as well. A lot of right-handed players are playing this line that Guy likes. Yeah, that's a good vi visual of the basket there. Yeah. Plangy trying to get some more birdies here. See if he can skip Open up it. the hill. Kind of blocked him, but he's, you know, he's putting. 
Yeah, it's just so hard to get a forward skip off of a steep a hill that steep. Definitely. Especially with the terrain that we have out here where there's so many rocks in the soil. All going. Somebody back there liked it. Yeah, I've been throwing a putter right out of here. A little bit different approach than the rest of the guys. Yeah. This looks pretty good. There you go. Oh, yeah, oh. on the green. And if you get to the right of that, you're just That's a, a wonderful spot. Cut. Here's Kalanji. So he's I think this is circle one. Just another one of those get your feet on the side hill. Looks like he just kind of lost his putting stroke down the stretch here, which is kind of frustrating, but Alex is a great player, and I think we're going to see a lot of him throughout the rest of the Sierra Tahoe series. Absolutely. And yeah, not to speak for him, but definitely, you know, if, if, if the lead is just this close to your grasp, you know, that you're, you're thinking about that. You're considering every single putt, knowing that there's a possibility of the win. So it adds that extra pressure for sure. Yeah, you try not to think about too much, but it's always creeping. It's hard to shake it. Will has a lot of experience in these positions. On the other hand, where he knows what he knows what he's got to do, yeah. and seems, seems to be unshaken ev yeah. forever. Just well, he's feeling pretty comfortable now. You know, here we are going into 18. He's got three strokes on Quinn. Alex is four back of that. Good shooting. I know what you mean, Gavin. Will. Good, Good to see some nice camaraderie yeah, with the boys. Camera left. Yeah, they're Thank you so much. <laughs> well, everybody's stoked to have Jason out here filming, as are we. 18, 282. It is a left or right shot on the hillside. See here, Will's going lefty backhand. There's the basket. Looked like a pretty good dart. Probably. A little bit short, but maybe still circle one. Any potential for roll away down there? Yeah, a little bit. If you di if you dig into close to the basket, it's on a slope, but like like where that's going, it's like tall grass. Yeah. And what's the furthest for like roll away? Could you end up fifty feet away, or is there something gonna, ca gonna catch you? No, that's a great question. Um, no, it it rolls out pretty flat, and it's kind of grassy, so I don't think you're gonna get punished too too bad. Yeah. Um, there is ob long straight, but with the the shape of the shot these guys are all throwing it's you know it's like the ob doesn't really come into play too much unless they just like just absolutely cook it but is this the first forehand from gavin of the whole round oh, whoa sounds like he should throw more of them if it was <laughs> yeah, it looked phenomenal but I, I guess i just feel like i've seen so many backhands that everywhere everyone else is throwing the forehand he's throwing these backhand turnovers I like Angie a hanging little wide out. <laughs> oh, he caught up in those bushes, but he's again putting. But... Okay, so here's a guy downhill from circle two. Just a little high. Probably me. That lollipop oh, saved him about 30 feet too if it goes long. And that is a that is a significantly steep hillside. All right, here's Will, circle two. Ooh. Not quite. Intentional? Question mark? I think he likes to make them. I, I think, think he likes to make them. Kalanji to finish on a strong note. Yeah, he just lost his putter down the stretch or he would have been all up in Will's hair. Absolutely. See if Quinn can get a birdie here. Secure solo second for the tournament. Nice putt. Nice putt. Great tournament, Quinn. He claims he's only played five rounds since like last year's Nevada State. So I'm like, why are you so good then? <laughs> Gavin, I don't believe you. Maybe the best drive of the bunch here for Birdie. Nice. It's good to see him make that because the first round he was grumbling about his straddle putt. So to see him finish with a straddle putt, I'm like, nice job. Nice job, man. Even though I want to call him kid, but yeah, yeah, because he's 16. But he 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 plays. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Oh, it's still the respect. Yeah. Uh, Guy. Good tournament, sir. <laughs> Good wave. <laughs> on, we were clapping in here. Alex, great tournament. He's going to finish in the podium third place in the first Sierra Tile series of the year. And here's Will. Beautiful. Great start. Go, yes. Great finish for Will. Par, finishing at 34 oh, under. Dude. Nice win, dude. We played all you. the whole thing. 
Good start for all these guys, because most of them will be playing this entire Sierra Tau series. So good to see these guys, yeah, you know, lighten it up right off the beginning of the season. Most definitely. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. So most of these guys staying in that top four. Peter Keen again. Wow. Full nine under. Finishing at 27. Fantastic. Uh, Gavin falling back just a little bit to that 24 mark, but... You know, we saw Nate Tolman up there and then sitting there in 10th place, Dan Turner. Atta boy. Hey -yo. Knocking into the top 10. <laughs> hey just last not to cash, but no big deal. For the first event of the STS. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I think I missed more putts than I made. But hey. As goes disc golf. How many rounds do we have in the STS? I don't know, Spanky. You're asking a lot of that. <laughs> that was, uh, those nine downs you saw there on the final round, those were all 1,007 rated, so... You can just, it shows you, you know, the big difference between the red and the blue tees. I think I shot seven down and it was 890. Oh, from the reds? Yeah. Then the next round, two strokes better, 1,007 rated. Pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, guys, that was the wrap up for the 2024 River Walk Rumble. Thank River you. Walk Rumble. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to the premium channel. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And we will see you for the next one. For sure. Thanks, guys. And we are still a little new to this. So any uh, criticism is welcomed in the comments. Uh, let us know what you like, what you want to see more of. And uh, we'll try and give that to you next time around. Thank you. Thanks again. Later.